Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where every day is Halloween. Here we talk about horror movies, paranormal stories, and all whilst I do my makeup. If you would please subscribe down below because I'd really appreciate it. Um, so today, instead of doing makeup, we are actually going to be doing our nails because I never have anything on my nails because I pick everything off. And we will be talking about my favorite or some of my favorite 80s horror movies. Um, this wasn't really planned, it was kind of last minute, but here we are. I am going on a little vacation with my husband and I wanted to do something cute with my nails. And if you follow me on TikTok, you would see these nails already. But I got long, they're way too long, so I'm going to actually trim them up, file them, make them look cute and a lot shorter because it's been a minute since I've had nails, let alone long nails. So let's get into this video. Okay, I'm going to change the angle a little bit um, just so you can see what I'm doing because I don't have two cameras going on. So yeah, just um, roll with it with me, please. <laughs> okay, here we are. You like my shirt? How cute. It's a skull made of flowers and um, greenery. That's why I almost said rosary. <laughs> this is not what's happening here. Guys, and for real, for real, I, right now, I need to do this somewhat fast because I have a timeline here because my, I hurt my back the other day. I just took to Advil PM, so I'm probably gonna get sleepy here in a minute. That's why I didn't do a whole face and makeup and everything. I just wanted to do my nails. Plus, we're leaving for our little vacation tomorrow, so I wanna have my nails, my nails done. And then, I feel like this is too low. And then, um, I'm drinking my bubbly, but I did have turmeric and ginger tea because that is good for anti-inflammation. I digress. So, my very first movie that I love so much from the 80s is Fright Night. Love Fright Night. It's such a good, we love vampires. And I've always loved, like, even like Disney movies and stuff, um, like the... Kind of like my, my mother's dating a vampire, like the little vampire, like I love that. So I love me a good 80s vampire movie. I'll put a picture up here of the nails. I just love the whole thing of like these kids trying to like fight this like literally vampire, like he's a whole ass of vampire and like what are you gonna do about it? Like what are you gonna do? I think I should put this on my finger to see where I wanted it and then I just kind of clip it. All right, my next movie, since we're talking about vampires, you know where I'm going with this? Um, let's talk about, we cannot forget, eh, The Lost Boys. I love that movie. It's, ooh, it's 80s gold, to be honest with you. So The Lost Boys, I love it. It's just like, um, where are they at? They're in California. I love that they're like on the pier. I love any time, like when it's like a, a 70s, 80s, even 90s, whatever, and they're at like some kind of, it's not really a carnival. Okay, this, where we started, where we're at. This is such a difference, but these fierce, but hard to maintain. Not as fierce, easy to maintain. And then also Edward Herman. I love Edward Herman. He's such a dad, like I just, I love it. So he just seems like the sweetest person and I just love him as a person. Every time he's in a movie, I'm like, oh, like it makes me excited. But then also like uh, David, Sam, Edgar, David, hey David, like hi, how are you? We stand. Mm, Night of the Demons, I just watched that this year. That is a good movie. Ooh. And the lipstick scene, if you know, you know. There's a scene, and I want to give like it away. Like if you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you haven't seen any of these, go watch them because they're like amazing '80s horror movies. Uh, but there's like a lipstick scene with this girl, and she's just being like literally crazy <laughs> with this lipstick. I'm so glad I was able to cut these because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to or not. So the Night of the Demons. These kids go to like this um this party. It's like a six person party, but the one guy annoys the shit out of me but he does end up turning into an, a very appropriate animal for the way he acts. In the ending, I love the ending. <laughs> you guys have to watch it, I don't wanna give it all away, but the ending, like we stand. And I love the two main women, like, can you say hot? Like, come on now. Especially the really, really goth one, I love it, I love her. It's just like these people, these all these kids kinda like go crazy in their own way from like the demon or demons or whatever. And it's just really fun to watch. 
fourth is My Bloody Valentine. Now there is a 2014 mm, remake, which I actually like that one too. That's the first one I've seen and I love it. I really enjoy it. So then this year on Valentine's Day, I watched the 80s version. We love it. So good. So if you know anything about My Bloody Valentine, it's this like guy or person or whatever in a coal miner outfit and he's killing people and it's like this town and I think it happened so many years ago so then they quit having Valentine's Day parties and then they end up having one again and he comes back and it's like a whole thing of like who is it who could it be killing the people because it's a small town we trust everyone we don't even lock our doors here that's stupid <laughs> all right you're just asking for someone to come in and kill you and your family Oh my god, they're like little nubbins. Like, you can see the difference. <laughs> yeah, I really like My Bloody Valentine. I feel like that's one that people don't ever talk about. Like, I never see anyone talking about it. And maybe it's because it's kind of like the leprechaun, where it's like one of those things that people tend to watch around that holiday. Because it's like the only type of horror movie for that holiday, or at least the most popular one. But it's like, ugh. My Bloody Valentine is such a good slasher movie. And it's okay that there was only one. Not everything needs like a bajillion... Um, I don't know what the word is, but you don't need one through 25, you know, like one through 10, one through 15, one through six. Like sometimes you can just have one really good movie and maybe make a, you know, maybe someone makes a remake down the line. Cool. Like that's fine. Which I mean, I'm not mad when people have literally like, I mean, 20 different forms of a movie where it just keeps going on and on and on because if I really like a character I mean I'll watch every Halloween till the day I die because like I love it next one is Friday the 13th part two because I actually do like them <laughs> I'm just saying there's just so many they're everyone's favorite you know what I'm saying you know what I'm talking about but Friday the 13th part two when Jason's finally the killer spoilers sorry about it um I feel like everyone's aware of that if you're not aware of that I apologize but I just really like that one. I just think it's really fun. It's really good. Just a little bit. Mm -mm, just a little bit. Mm -mm. Next movie, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We love this movie. I talked about it on one of my other videos where it was um, a clown, my favorite clown movies or something like that, movies and makeup video, which was a really good video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Definitely go check that out. But anyway, Killer Clowns of Outer Space. Uh, the first time I saw this was like last year, I think. And ever since then, I think I've seen it like two times, three times. I think I've seen it, no, two times since. So three times total in the last two years. And it's like one of my comfort movies. Like, I love it. I love it so much. And I hate when people call that chick a thought. Like, um, she's allowed to date more than one man. First of all, drives me nuts. I was like, she's such a thought. Ah, like, girl, shut up. <laughs> I don't know, that's definitely a fun movie. That's like a that's like a Friday night cheesy pizza like hanging out with a gang movie. Like that's like I don't know, like you're in a bad headspace and you need to recenter yourself movie. It's such a good movie. I love it. It's so fun. Such a good time. All right, next is The Evil Dead. I love The Evil Dead. I love this. First of all, I love the guy on Evil Dead. What's his name? I can't remember, but we love him. Evil Dead 2, not my favorite. I don't know, it's just too, it's like, it's almost like they couldn't think of anything else. Like really it should have stopped at one. Like one was really good, two was like, what was even the point? Like it was weird. It was like literally just kind of a segue into the, um, I actually have right here, was Army of Darkness, which I've actually never finished Army of Darkness, even though I have it on VHS back here. My little, my cool little horror movie set up back there. But it's because it's like it, it's like set up in like the olden days or medieval times or whatever and really when stuff's not like somewhat modern time or just like within the last hundred years it's just not my jam but medieval is just not my scene you know like the 80s are my scene no this needs to be a little bit shorter so like i can't get it short enough but i do like i think the makeup and the um the blood and everything is like a plus and I would say especially for being an 80s movie this is one of the few movies where I actually had so um spoiler alert maybe at one point 
when they put, I forget don't remember her name, when they put, I think it's his girlfriend actually, down in that like cellar and they like lock it and she comes up and she's like, please help me, da da da, I'm your girlfriend. And then she comes back up and she's like, Rawr! and she's like this like zombie looking, monster looking thing. That literally like gave me a nightmare. Like that's crazy. Like that, I actually had a nightmare about her. I mean, it didn't like terrify me, but it like woke me up in the middle of the night and I was like, huh. And I was like impressed. <laughs> Like, that's weird. I haven't had a nightmare like that since ugh, LL, since I watched Hell House LLC and that freaking black and white clown photo here freaks me out. Freaks me out so much and I love that movie so much. And I love clowns so much. It all makes sense. Next is Slumber Party Massacre. Now this movie is a movie that you can just chill, relax, maybe even scroll on Twitter and watch it and kind of have it in the background. And I really love it. <laughs> it's just such 80 vibes, like girls having a sleepover, psychomaniac running about killing people. Like, I just love that. I think it's even like storming, you know, ordering pizza. Like, it's just such a like classic 80s Friday night vibe. And I love that. We just love when a maniac is running around killing teenage girls. I don't know why, but that's the 80s for you. And I'm kind of here for it. So definitely check out that movie. I mean, it's not that I was, it's nothing like, I don't know. It's nothing spectacular, but it's just to me, it's such a fun movie to watch. Like I really like it. And the second one's just as good in my opinion. I like both of them. So definitely check those out. I think it's like, I like, I like the, I like the characters, I like how the whole plot ends up, I like the ending, I like it all. It's just such a good movie and it has such 80s vibes, which it is from the 80s, so it should. But I just really enjoy it for those reasons. Definitely check that out. Next one, kind of following up on that, but it's a different movie anyway. Um, next movie is Sleepaway Camp. Sleepaway, Sleepaway Camp is very campy. Like it is very much what it is. <laughs> It's, it has that ending where when you see that, you'd be like, oh, that's where that's from. Like, I almost guarantee you've either seen it before or heard of it. And then you'll be like, okay, that makes sense. But I really like that movie. And I actually like the second, and I think there's a third one too. But I like the second one too, because it's kind of like a twist, kind of. I mean, I pretty much knew what was going on the whole time. But for like the camp, it's like, what? Like, <laughs> how did this happen? But I would say, and literally... In the first one, the freaking mom, like, this is, like, right in the beginning. I'm not giving away anything. But, like, right in the beginning, the mom, she's such a freaking weirdo, and I love it. Like, the lady that played her did such a great job at just literally being a weirdo. But, yes, definitely check away Sleepaway Camp. Basically, these two kids, they go to a camp, and people start dying. And the ending is pretty, like, crazy. You're like, what the hell? I'm kind of sad really so next one is reanimator i love reanimator so much we love herbert west i love herbert west he's just such a fascinating character and that is another that movie is just such a fun movie you're just like what in the heck is happening and reanimator 2 is pretty good too i don't know if that's an 80s movie but regardless they're both good go check them out go check out my man herbert west because he's a badass. Really just like a kind of a mad scientist. But is he really mad? I mean, his stuff kind of works. Like, oh, gosh dang it. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite 80s horror movie is. Um, I have some notable, honorable mentions as well that I'll read. Like ones I didn't bring up and either need to watch or... I just aren't one of my favorites. And I'm a really, I'm a, I've noticed I'm more of a B movie kind of person. Like I like really good movies, but it's almost like, which I'm not saying that any of these people, any of these movies have high budgets or low budgets. I actually don't know, I didn't look it up. But it's like, sometimes I'm just like, yeah, when you have a really high budget and you hire all the best people, like you're gonna have a good movie. You know what I mean? There's some movies out there you watch them and you're like, yeah, it's a, like, it's a good movie. Like. I expected it to be good, it was good, like cool. But I like when I watch movies I didn't really expect much from and then get a lot from. And then you're like, have you guys heard of this movie? Cause it's really good. And everyone's like, no, I haven't heard of it because it had a low budget and I, or I saw it and I was like, eh. And then you watch and you're like, that's a good movie. Okay, now let's apply these bad boys. So while we do this, let's do our honorable mentions. 
which are The Shining. The Shining is a movie that I know is good, but I tried watching it multiple, multiple times as a teen and every single time someone would change the channel. Um, it would be like not the best version of the movie because it was on TV or XYZ would happen. And now as an adult, I've tried to watch it so many times that I'm no longer interested. Now, I know some people, this is their favorite movie. And I wish that I could have just sat down and watched this movie and truly enjoyed it. But because I never had that chance yet, <laughs> I mean, I could do that right now. But since I've never done that, um, it just kind of is all the, always this like movie where I've literally not even got that far in the movie. I've gotten to the point to where like they just arrive and are like being introduced to everyone and shown around. So as far as I made it. So it's one of those things that's on my list. I know I need to watch, but it's like I've started it so many times. It's almost like it's impossible for me to finish and it's so annoying. But I had to mention it because everyone loves The Shining. It's so good. I know it's probably good. I just haven't seen it all. Uh, next honorable mention is The Thing. The Thing, I actually did a movie review on. You should definitely go check it out. I did it on The Thing and The Thing, the remake, or as I like to call it, the prequel. I feel like my house is about to actually get washed away. Okay, so The Thing, I like The Thing. It's good, it's a good time, it's a good movie. It's kind of crazy to watch, but it's not my favorite thing. Sci-fi horror is not my favorite thing. I like the movie, but it's not one of my favorites. I'd rather just watch some random guy go through and kill a bunch of teenagers. That's my thing. All right, my next honorable mention, A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is another one of those movies. Um, I literally haven't even seen all of any of them except for the remake. You know what I'm talking about and it wasn't, I can just tell you it wasn't really that great. <laughs> but I've been wanting, I've actually, I started a while ago. I was gonna go through and watch them all just cause I haven't seen them all. Now I would say this is not from the eighties, but speaking of Friday, or of <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th as well, I love Freddy vs. Jason. I love Freddy vs. Jason. I've seen that movie a lot of times. I haven't seen it recently, but I've seen it a lot of times and I really like it. I just, I love a mashup. I love a good mashup. That's what it is. So Halloween 3 is not my favorite thing. And when I first watched it, I was a hater. I was like the majority of people, I was a hater. I was like, this is so stupid, da 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 da. But as a movie on its own right, I really, actually kind of like the concept. I think it was just because I was expecting something different as everyone was, even though I was aware that it was different, I just didn't realize how different. And I actually, I enjoy the concept. Like I love the whole of like, uh, all these kids get these really popular masks and then turns them into monsters, creatures, whatever. Oh no, <laughs> where'd they go? That was the last thing <laughs> that I wanted to do right now was crawl on the floor, but it is what it is. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, Halloween 3. So I wanted to make an honorable mention because a lot of people do love it as a movie on its own. I guess John Carpenter originally wanted Halloween to be an anthology, which I love that because like Halloween night, like it gives me like trick or treat vibes. And he wanted like an anthology series of movies, but people love Michael Myers so much that they just wanted more Michael Myers. And I love that. I mean, I feel bad that he didn't really want to do it and he actually wanted it to be like an anthology, but I love Michael Myers. So I'm glad it kind of kept going, but then it's kind of funny. It's not really funny, but it's kind of funny. I don't know if John Carpenter didn't want to do Halloween two. Maybe he wanted to be one and two, but if he wanted to do an anthology of movies, I would assume that he would wanted to have stopped it at one. And then he was probably pushed into doing two. And it's kind of funny that Rob Zombie was in the same situation where he, not the anthology part, but he wanted to make Halloween, the one he made, you know, the remake basically in a much more Rob Zombie way. And he was pushed into doing two. So, but people love Michael Myers. So if you're gonna jump on the train of the Michael Myers train and people like the movie, guess what? You're doing a sequel, sorry about it. <laughs> if it's not a sequel, then it's a prequel. You're doing something. So another one is Creep Show. Really Creep Show 1 and 2 because people love them. I have never seen Creep Show. I know, I know, I know, I know I need to, but I just have not for whatever reasons. Coding on here. Oh my God. 
that <laughs> thunderstorms don't scare me but that scared me holy shit you just saw the fear in my eyes all right i need to get this done so i can turn all the shit off <laughs> and get down to the basement oh my god it was just the sudden like loud i mean i don't even know what i thought was happening like obviously that was thunder but god i haven't heard thunder and lightning first of all all day but also in a while like it hasn't really stormed it's only been raining periodically it hasn't stormed all right kids i think that's good so yeah so creep show as i was saying um i know it's an anthology movie i'm pretty sure i'm sure, no, I'm sure i know one is i'm sure two is as well I hear my husband. He's probably like, uh, did you hear that? But I definitely need to watch it. It is definitely right up my alley. Like I know it's something I'll like. like. I said I just haven't gave it the time of day yet for whatever reason, but it's definitely on my list to watch. Oh, and I have my window open up here because it gets hot up here. So it's probably why it was extra loud, but it literally sounded like it was like behind me. Like I thought this whole wall <laughs> was just gonna like cave in or something. I don't know last but not least the final movie is child's play these like i said these are all honorable mentions um not necessarily my favorites but a lot of other people's favorites um and child's play it actually was on my list and i put on honorable mentions instead because i i like child's play like it's good like i actually i've watched all of the chucky movies um, more so recently, the reason I, my favorite Chucky movie, you could probably guess, I feel like most people, especially the girls, gays, and theys, is The Bride of Chucky, because we stan Tiffany, and we stan Jennifer Tilly. I love Tiffany. I love Tiffany so much. I want to do, like, a little Tiffany cosplay someday. Um, she is just, like, uh, I love her. She's, like, a goth bimbo queen, and we stan so if you're also a fan of Bride of Chucky, let me know down in the comments. I would say I haven't watched The Cult of Chucky. Like, pretty much I watched up into that movie. Um, and I've seen The Seed of Chucky, like, a long time ago. I've never seen The Cult of Chucky. And I haven't seen The New Child's Play either. But again, it's because... I don't know. New Chucky just looks weird. I was actually going to try to make these look... Um, like spiked but I did not think that would turn out well <laughs> maybe one day I'll try that like not with these nails necessarily obviously but well I have actually all these nails I could try it with these nails I'm just gonna go through and make sure these are all down okay these are the nails so much more sassy I just got like 10 times more sassy with these bad boys so thank you so much for watching leave me down in the comments what your favorite 80s horror movie is because i would like to know or of the ones i listed what your favorite is so uh remember to please subscribe hit the like button if you enjoyed this and even if you didn't still hit the like button uh leave a comment like i said follow me on instagram twitter i have a facebook page follow me on tiktok i make fun tiktoks and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and peace out.